We're gonna explore a little bit. We're gonna see what's going on in Decentraland. Number one, I definitely suggest everybody go over to the DAO and take a look at all these new proposals. There is a sweep of new proposals going on. Dude, so much is happening. We could literally spend this time. It's up to you how you want to do it. But we could spend this whole time just going through right here on the DAO. Absolutely, I can drop that link right here. So Peace Dog, this is what the DAO is. It is actually a governance place for Decentraland. So people can vote for grants, polls. Uh, there's all these different points of interest so the points that you see on the map each one of these is voted on in the DAO and having a name so you know having a name having land having mana those things give you voting power what are the buses increased speed of buses <laughs> I think they mean the trolleys I think this person though is a very astute hustler says I feel like there's not a much advantage on getting on the bus because is almost like walking. I suggest 25% increase of speed. You know what? This guy wants speed. Let's he's got a need for speed. This guy let's people, this person's got a need for speed. We should none of us should be slowing hustler down. Come on. Give hustler some he's got a need for speed. Let's go. I've turned the tables. It's done. The deed is done. We will increase by 25%. We are building out this new screen. We're getting a new stream set up. So no stream screen today, but we're building out a new one that I will be able to stream gaming into Decentraland. If I was streaming GTA into Decentraland, would you watch it? One vote per person who holds mana, or is it one vote per mana? I'm pretty sure it's one vote per mana. And then the land, each land is worth 2,000. And then uh, each name is worth 100 voting power. So it's one, one mana per vote. So like a corporation in that the wealthy still maintain control. Peace Dog, that is a big part of this. Literally like people can come through and say, you know, for instance, a, an example of that is actually Republic. They have, you know, tons of land, tons of mana, and they just recently, uh, a, you know, there was a grant application that they supported that they put it past the finish line, just them themselves. So I would say there's definitely a big issue around, you know, big corporations holding sort of I don't want to say unfair like decision making power because they invested in the community by purchasing that land that, that mana but it does make it very in favor of the whales which i don't think is necessarily the philosophy of decentraland i think it's definitely supposed to be an open metaverse for everybody to be able to partake in and there's definitely a lot of risk around people right now being able to hoard voting power and be able to tip the tip the bar in their favor You know what? I'll say this. It's not so much against the concept of being decentralized, but it's against uh, the equality within that decentralization, if that, if that makes sense. There's so many moving pieces and there's so many people who are passionate about Decentraland and, there's, and some people are less so, some people are more so. Some people are just passive, but some people are so passionate about Decentraland, they're literally bringing their things about life that they were doing outside of central and here right in here you could have a you know you could have just about anything here big corporations there's security firms that have space for advertising like there's there's so many reasons and we want to keep it fair and open and to that you know to that matter there's things that have been put in place that i think we could still improve like I forget the name of it, but there's a voting, there's a voting, like, algorithm, like, process where the more voting power that you have, the more you vote on a single proposal, the less voting power is counted. So it's like, 
exponentially less the more voting power you put towards something that you know prevents whales from necessarily using their voting power to overtly dominate the DAO. Peace dog, if you didn't know these point of these point of interest, the reason that you see it says rejected is because it needs to get at least 500,000 voting power. So even, you know, this is another thing like there's uh, thresholds for things like POIs, for grants, all these different things that uh, can get voted on. So it's not just a matter of one to one. The polls, they are not decisions, they're sentiment. Create a mailbox item for the builder. Storing messages. Oh, that would be very cool, right? But you can actually already do that with messages.eth.link people. So if we maybe integrated messages.eth with the mailbox builder item, I think that would be probably the ideal. Does one need voting power to propose a vote? I don't think you do. Peace dog, I don't think you do. Add location 8370. Let me see. Yeah, exactly. Look at this. No, this is this is crazy here. But you will see it, who this is. So if you go into snapshot, it's not hard for you to see who's making these decisions. All you gotta do is click there, you go into OpenSea with that address. Hobayam. And then we can see, if we go right here to the collections, we can go to, typically there's a names, here we go, names. Ban me. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything. PewDiePie? <gasps> okay. So I already know who this is based on what I'm seeing here. And actually, people can delegate voting power. What? What? Wait, what? For a second it said I was delegated voting power. From Hulu. Did anybody else see that? You can get delegated voting power. So if you wanted to, you could actually, so you can see here, HPRIV, that one vote actually isn't just HPRIV. This is people who have delegated voting power to HPRIV to do that, to make those votes. What? People delegated me voting power, that's crazy. Holy moly. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, I'm one of the top 11, what? I didn't note that. I am always saying you should be, take. I appreciate people having trust in me, but I would say, wow, that's really, I see now. Hulu, much love. You can actually, uh, I, I, I like to see people using their voting power um, because it gives them more know on what's happening in the metaverse. But today we're voting for Hulu. You know what? We're going to jump in here. We're going to spend, spend some time here. Wearable preview. So something I'd love to see is a wearable preview way for you to see what your avatar will look like in wearables you are interested in buying. That's a good idea. Vote. Sounds awesome. Got you, Hulu. Wait, is that the real Hulu you think? You think? Netflix, come on. Send some VP to your boy. Should we have some type of access to VR equipment? Has the central line access have to, That is an invalid question because it's already on the roadmap. That's right. If you go to so if you just even Google search Trello roadmap, Decentraland, you can open up right here and you will see on our roadmap, where is it? Where is it? Native VR World Explorer. We will have that. So, Hulu, see, I know these things. I'm going to put your votes in the right place. People are voting yes to VR gear, but it's not a relevant question, people. 
just read the go into the Trello roadmap. We already have that in line. Create a marketplace for scenes and 3D. Oh, this is good because now we're going to be able to see scenes and 3D assets on a marketplace. Absolutely. I need that on a marketplace. Why? Because right now the builder is very static. You can only use kind of what's in the builder. If you want to get new stuff into the builder, you have to go out, import stuff. It's a lot of work. We should have, you know, a market where we can bring all those assets right into the builder. Implement a safety system for chat, voice chat, and uh, we are actually, uh, let's see, VR chat, implement a safety system, block incoming chat messages. But don't we already have that? Uh, enter Decentraland, ask the desired. Yeah, I, okay. I like that they say ask the desired safety right when they, this is about a user experience because we are, already have some safety stuff in line. If you go here to your little settings button, you can turn off profane, turn on a profanity filter. As you see, uh, NSFW, you know, profanity filter off. We don't, we're, you know, like, come on, come on. No, this is adult channel. There's a lot of other stuff like uh, you can come in here and you can mute people. So if you don't want to hear people, you can mute them. But having some, I vote yes on that because if you have something at the get go, that is like a Decentraland safety experience asking new users, I think that would protect the community well. Implement decentralized user block system, inspired on ad blockers and block systems, other decentralized systems, ensure a good experience, create a new setting, client allow users to add or one or more URLs. Hmm. Update the client to query the URL with a standardized reset API. But block the anyone in the community will be able to create their own block list server and help other members create theirs. You're gonna help other people like block other people. What? And help other members create theirs that create their own block list server. Wow, this is like blacklisting. The user will keep full control of what block services service to use and don't use. Hmm. Hmm. That's that's a curious question because that's like a decentralized filter system. So in that sense, I like it that it's not like one person creating a block block list server like Decentraland. You don't you don't want Decentraland owning the block list server. So I'm not going to lie, like these kind of security things are good. You want people to be able to block. You want, you know, it's, this is kind of like delegation. Uh, what? I think that we just got more voting power. What? Is this for real? Let me see this. Oh no, okay, cause that's adding my, okay, damn, I, I got some VP. I got 10K VP right now. Ya yeah, boy. I'm I'm down for, for a decentralized block list server that we can pick our own things to block. Like we can pick what block list to be a part of. That's kind of cool. What do y'all think? Like the auto beep sensor, exactly. What's up, Jinso in the house? What's up, Jinso? Notorious Nyaki. Yo, I haven't seen you in a minute. What's up, Notorious Nyaki? Notorious, you're just in time. We are literally, think about it. In a hundred... In a hundred more follows, we are going to be 54 away from our 24-hour special. So perfect time timing, Nyaki. And so so glad, so awesome to have you here with us. We're just walking through. We've been delegated voting power by Hulu. Now I can't verify if this is who, the real Hulu. Maybe it's Netflix posed as Hulu. It is possible. Hulu has given me their voting power, and to honor Hulu, we're gonna vote. Add the location 35 negative 79 to the point of interest. Back to business. Parkour, LOI, um, I will say no because 
there's already so many that like you could have made this in like legit like three minutes there's no there you know there's just nothing there's nothing there that's necessarily interesting that hasn't been done yet this isn't like in the past maybe yes if there was nothing but people have done this already there's already enough point of interest for for like uh parkour sort of activities for instance altcoin radio i think parkour should be a part of a bigger experience not necessarily be a point of interest in its own name of wearables when viewing other players items players usually notice something cool that's true vote yes i think that's a great way to discover what kind of gear you know you want to say oh what kind of gear this be check it out voted yes mm, 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 mm. parkour wearable tracksuit reward um Let's see. Uh, this fee is, uh, this grant is to cover the publication fee. Let's see. This is much more than the publication fee, people. This is twice the publication fee. gotta do a little bit more on that like let's see tracksuit reward for part you know and the other thing is have you you know what do you have a design for yet do you know who you're working with for okay crafting so that's gonna cost more than just the do we have somebody who's designing those kinds of things need to be on the grant proposals Uh, ability to share your public wallet address. You can do that. How to share my wallet in chat. Didn't copy there. Any ideas how this could be implemented? Hmm. Hmm. Any ideas on how this can be implemented? I would say this is just not a. Is it, this is what I would put as invalid because put that. There's a Discord. There's a forum. If you go to forum.decentraland.org, that or the or the Discord channel, that's a place to have that conversation. Asked our network Polkadot L2 partnership. Let's see. Whoa, we have uh, some head-to-head -head whale action here. Should the following up to 200, so it's a $200,000 grant funding to host monthly hackathons for DCL and Astar communities. Hackathon will be similar to Keep Network's ICO event, where a few trusted DCL Astar community judges are selected to handpick the most quality community created content. Astar is likely to be one of the first polka dot parachains. They support EVM, NFTs, smart contract, dApps. L2, meta transactions, and have been educating their community uh, about the possibilities of a DCL integration and love the idea. Hackathon prizes will be given for D app integration. So this is a hackathon. Month one, I have about 10 people so far. They said they want to help uh, from both projects. So I will get them all in a GitHub repository and start hacking away. I would say set that up before asking for the grant. Set up your team and get that scene this is like can't be okay here we go personnel pat max we, we love pat max butter okay there are some definitely some legit people here mm. whole event should take five months to complete from approval so this is one event And is the money for the prizes? Hackathon prize will be given for DAP craft integration, DAP integration, D app integrations, L2 bridges, wearable design, social media promotions, documentation, GitHub work, translate. This is all over the place, y'all. I'm not gonna say no because 
I, I think it just needs to be revised. Burn 10% of the mana total supply <laughs> to higher market cap market dominance because of new investors. It's invalid because actually mana is a deflationary. Every time you spend mana or every time you buy land, mana's burned. So there's no need for this because mana's already being burned as people, as these new investors and people partake in the economy. It's unnecessary. Integrating Decentraland with four other platforms. Let's see what it is. Six forty-eight thousand dollar grand. Rather than see metaverse space dominated by one large corporation, it would be more interesting to see a group of already successful virtual worlds join together. A to form a system of a mini metaverse. After the initial pioneering work, virtual worlds can be added to the system of systems. Can increase the size of the would-be metaverse. So this is like a gobbling of metaverse you want to just acquire Decentraland I think that's an acquisition I don't think that's a grand proposal my friend what, what does chat think do you have a discord I don't see it up on your about page I do have a discord I don't put it out in the public because of bots and because we want to keep just kind of like you understand we want to keep the community sort of tight-knit it's not just for anybody just to go jump in there decentra family appreciate y'all so much yo let's get to 999 before the end of this year <laughs> yeah you already know jen so i'll do it for you brother let's do it keep up and thank you so much y'all peace